Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 6 of Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com Alright, my save file has been at that logo for quite some time, considering I did get an Isaac victory well before I got a Satan victory, for crying out loud. But we're going to stick with our challenge runs for now, so let's do highbrow, whatever that is. Okay, so apparently I have the flush item, as well as petrified poop, and what looks like a tampon. I don't know what that's supposed to be. And, yeah. Oh, apparently I got number one. I don't know if it's going to be like that for the rest of the run. Yeah, it looks like I got number one the whole time. Huh. Ceremonial robe, so I get some evil hearts. That's great. Don't I look so awesome? I look like these uh, death squads back in Ivan the Terrible's time. That's pretty cool. Seriously, he was not that awesome of a leader, given that he was poisoning his body with mercury to treat his back. At least that's what I learned on TV, so it must be true, right? Come on, get out of here, spider. I don't want to use the flush yet. As great as an item it is, and it does have a high recharge time, so you know what? I think this was the good room to use it on. The flush can basically serve as pretty much an instant out when it comes to certain rooms. Oh, gurglings. This time I'm actually facing them as a boss. I don't think the flush will work against bosses, though. Try to do a nice bit of damage to them or do absolutely nothing. The thing I hate about number one is that even though I have a fast shot rate, I have to be super close in order to do damage. But the thing I hate about the Gurglings is they leave behind a lot of creep, and depending on what your shot speed is like, you can push them around, which can cause them to diagonally go into you. Which is not good. Okay, now I realize what that icon over there, or, like below my key stands for, it just shows that I'm not going to get any trophies or anything. Torn photo, aww. So now I can shoot faster, and my speed goes up even higher. So now I can cry, which causes me to pee even more. Weird. But we still need to find our item room, though. Oh, there are no item rooms. The sloth. That's all there is. No items, only Zool. Alright, so hopefully I can get something out of this that'll help me out in the long run. Like, at most I might get Bob's right in hand. But I might stick with the flush. So if anything, I just hope Sloth gets me a tarot card. I'll be happy with that. Nope, I'll just get Bob's right in hand. You know what? I'll use Bob's right in hand to find a free secret room. Does something good might come out of it? I didn't realize I had that many bombs. Hmm. Was it because of the ceremonial robes? I'm a bit nervous about this, so I'm just gonna use a regular bomb. Oh my god, my bombs are poop! Oh, that's what that item was. Okay, that's strange, to say the very least. You know what, I'll just use Boz right ahead just to do that for no reason. <laughs> and now, my bombs can do that. Ugh, do I really want to go into that room, which I believe is a shop? The last run didn't have any shops, now this one doesn't have item rooms. You know what, I might as well open it because I might get something out of it. Don't know what I was going to get though, maybe a soul heart, which I will take by the way. You know what? I think I'm going to stick with the flush. I gave Bob's Rotten Head many chances, and it's been showing up quite a lot. So, I'm going to take the flush with me for the rest of this run. So, let's give it a shot. It might work out for the best, even though its recharge time is very slow. I was just giving myself another cursory glance to see if there was any tinted rocks in that room, which there wasn't. So, let's go. I don't look all that menacing with my dark robes, given that I'm crying and attacking my enemies by peeing on them. This is like the R. Kelly version of the Binding of Isaac. Oh, wait. 
That joke's been dated for a long time. Oh, man, I'd love to get little chubby right now. Can my poop bombs do something about this? No. What, so it's just gonna cause damage to all enemies for a while? Because that would be an interesting effect. It's basically smoke bombs, and they would just have to inhale the poop odor. Inhale the poop odor. That just sounds like a very bad party. It, it's not doing continuous damage, though. I think it might just have some effect on weaker enemies. Probably. So I don't think it's gonna work on Monstro. Tearing a lot of ass, though, which is good. Huh, my evilness gets up even- Oh, dear. That's not what I was hoping to see. The mark is something I've been hoping to see. Huh, you can even see the brimstone mark right there. So I get an extra soul heart. I lose one red heart, but my damage goes up. So it was a fair trade. I think I'm starting to get a little bit better with Rebirth now to the point that I can actually justify giving up red hearts. So let's make this work the rest of the way. This could be a flush worthy run as well, and I don't know why I decided to stay to take damage. If only I had the ability to fly, then I can just go get the uh, little chubby item. Did I explore all this room? I believe I did, but let me check for a secret room. That's not it. I was half expecting it would be, but apparently no. Well, oh, I don't think I should just stay there to play chicken. That was shooting. Yeah, I'll just use the flush just to get this room out of the way. Watch I'll find a room that justifies it even more. Nope, that's a self-sacrifice room. Hardly worth the effort. Uh, could this be the secret room? No. But I freed up some money. So it was a fair trade in my opinion. I can't think of any places where the secret room would be now. Like, we covered all this. It's not to the left. Don't really want to go to the shop, even though, well... Basically, there's no reason for me not to. There are no item rooms. I get something out of it for 15 cents, which I don't. Uh, I think that has something to do with turning soul hearts into red hearts. I'm not 100% sure. But I've never picked that item up before. So, I might as well buy it. Let's see. Converter. Convert your soul. Ah, okay. It does that with evil hearts, too. Does it? Or is it only soul hearts? So I got more red hearts out of it. That'd be good for deals with the devil, but I'm going to stick with flush. Remember, I still want to keep these evil hearts for later. And down to the next floor. So, as far as damage goes, thanks to the mark, it's going to be better. I figure that was pretty much the best way to go about it. Eh, do I want nine lives? I don't think so. I'm gonna leave it. I mean, yes, there is a chance I can become Guppy, but I'd need two more items for that. So I'm gonna pass on it for now. Health down! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. It's really making me pay for the whole, um, converter. And I don't want the push pin. I mean, 10% chance of spectral tears or piercing tears, not really worth it. I'm gonna stick with petrified poop. Even though, ah, oh, damn it. Even though its effect is still a little bit of a riddle to me. I'm not noticing like better drops when it comes to poop. Okay. I really need a range up so badly. Just to justify all this. Yep, I'll go for it. This is not the wave I want to use the flush on. If I run into a tougher wave, I will. 
I think this is a little bit tough. Oh, yeah, the enemies are still gonna be there anyway. But I can make this work. It's not like the enemies can just recover. There we go. Give me some bombs. Give me more bombs and a little bit of money. No keys, though. Oh, I still got one. Just wish I could find some more money to make the shop worthwhile. So far, it hasn't gotten to that point yet. Hey, those bombs over there, could I reach them? No, there was a, there was a pit there. That's not our secret room, by the way. In case you're not paying attention. Which you should be, because this is an awesome Let's Play. Even though we haven't reached part 10 yet. Usually some people gauge how good a Let's Play is going to be on the first video. Because that's the one that tends to get the most views. And then afterwards, it kind of petters down a bit. But that happens for a lot of Let's Plays. I don't know why I keep going to the shop. Because, I mean, I don't have enough money. This is all a force of habit, I guess. Alright, I'll take you out. I'm going to save this High Priestess card for the boss. I think that's a good idea. Uh, let's see. Yep, these hosts are pretty easy. I'm so glad I got the mark, like I said before. It's really helping me out. He on everything! Check for secret room over there! Yes. Okay. Do I really want to destroy all these mushrooms? I might as well. Don't want that pill, by the way. That's stupid. Those two pills could be good. Oh, oh speed down? Really? Oh my god, this is the worst pill rotation of all time. Just give me a PhD to justify it. Ha, huh, Pete. I could not have mistimed that any more than I already did. Yeah, flush does absolutely nothing to bosses. That was the worst dodge, the worst high priestess, and the worst use of the flush. At this rate, I'm just gonna die. To peep alone. Even though I find him pretty easy right now. Unless that's also a her. I'm finding that most of the bosses in Isaac are females, actually. Again, this is basically all about mom. Maybe all these bosses are just Isaac's opinions of his mother. Growth hormones, so I get my speed back and I get some extra damage. And it's down to the next floor. Alright, so far so good. I mean, that wasn't the best High Priestess all. Oh, curse of Darkness. But it's not the end of the world. What would be the end of the world is, well, obviously we died. But I don't think that's going to happen. I say this is gonna be a one challenge run. Definitely got this in the bag. It's gonna be a bit of a struggle for the most part. I mean, Curse of Darkness is not a terrible curse. I mean, Curse of the Lost is the worst in my opinion, because then you're unable to see. Curse of the Unknown can be a bit janky as well, because then you're left guessing. Okay, get rid of these enemies fast. Get rid of them. I'm not going to check out the shop this time. Oh my god, are you serious? Wait, did that enemy just turn into poop by walking into me? Weird. I was not expecting that. Is that the effect of petrified poop? Like, sometimes your enemies will turn into poop just by coming in contact with you? Is that what it is? But it wouldn't work every single time, though. Would it? Huh. Again, I would definitely have to look into that. But I'm not one that feels like he has to look things up right away, because the self-discovery is often the best part of Isaac. It's puberty, I don't want that. Paralysis, oh my god, these pills are so bad! Give me better pills! That sounds like every drug deal ever. Like, man, these pills suck. You lace them up with some shit, you know? I don't mean li literal shit. I mean figurative shit. You know what I mean. 
I haven't had a drug deal, okay? Now, let's just take out Gertie. Don't deal with drugs, either. Drugs are bad. Cut. Oh, that was also bad. Drugs are bad, just like my dodging and Gertie shots. Okay. And then people are saying, well, you dodged Gertie pretty good, so are you saying drugs are good now? You're saying mixed messages, Bongo. Come on now. Eh, you know what? I think I will do a tiny bit more exploring. Feels a bit of a cop-out to leave early. Besides, I would like to find a little bit more cash. Are these bombs going to be worth it for the red chest? You know what? I think they will be. So let's find out what it is. Goat hoof! Yeah, I'll take it. Guarantees a deal with the devil from here on out. Or a deal with the angel. So why not take it? Yeah, I like to go for the wall spiders first whenever possible. This could have been a flush-worthy room as well. Purple Heart, I'll stick with Petrified Poop. Purple Heart, I believe, is the trinket version of the Champion's Belt. Except you don't get any stats up from it. You just find more champions. Could be worth it to take that, though. So, you know what? I will. It feels like it flies in the face of the challenge run, though. But, who knows? It could be better for me. Finding more champions mean more consumables. And allows me to polish my skills a little bit higher. I don't know how I feel about this room. So there, levitating poop. Oh, game, don't do me dirty. That might have been a bad use of the flush, because this room wasn't even that hard. Well, neither is that one, but still. Alright, so we got ourselves a key. Let's check if the secret room's over here. It is! Good. Oh, that's a lot of money. Now I actually will look for my shop. Well, it's not really my shop. It's everybody's shop. Or really the guy there that's dead, but still. Let's check it out. It could be very good to me, it could be very terrible. Mom's key! Less is now more. Now you have two keys. Do I have a key in my butt? That must be so painful as a suppository. It, it looks like he puts it in his back pocket, but he's naked, so his ass is his back pocket. Unlocking the keys to my colon, the bonga story. Ugh. That'd be a terrible story. I don't think anyone would want to read that. That would have like a viewer's discretion. Viewer discretion is advised before you turn the page. Because you know there's just going to be a graphic of a key in someone's rectum. And they're probably... Guy's probably grinning as it's being turned. Like, this is a pain in the butt. Or any other kind of cheesy slogan that would go towards it. I would not write a book like that at all. Oh, Guppy's Collar. I've had that item before many times. The Joker... I don't know if it's really worth it, because, I mean, I'm going to get deals with the devil anyway by way of the, uh, goat head. Alright, so let's clear up this room real quickly. Likely not going to find a secret room. I'm not surprised about that. Because that bomb fly was nowhere near where I would have liked for it to go. And I wasn't sticking around for it to find out. Wow, that nump shoots real far. Gets a lot of velocity with those shots. They're like artillery units. Okay, these knights are in a very tight area. <laughs> the knights are tight. Uh, yeah, I think I'll use a bomber here. Might find the secret room, but I just wanted to get rid of some of those skulls. Oh yeah, it dazes them. Two of diamonds? Yeah, double my money right away. 18 cents is still a good amount of money. I mean, yeah, I could have had a little bit more if I was patient, but... Eh, whatever. Oh, wait, I can still turn enemies into poop without the petrified poop. So I must have had a, another kind of item that's allowing me to do that. Only I can't really go into my inventory to take a look at it. Yep, 
whatever. I think that droplet is number one, and whatever that tampon is, is probably causing me to turn enemies into poop just by touching me. That's uh, my hypothesis. If I were to be a wild guesser when it comes to Isaac items that I haven't really worked with before. I'm giving these curse rooms a chance, and you know what? They have been paying off. I haven't run into a terrible curse room yet in this challenge run. That was before I picked up... Ah, oh, damn it. Why didn't the goat head work that time? Did it hit me in the face before it was able to get on my head? Because remember, the goat head can nullify uh, shot damage that's directly on top of your head. But I guess the shot was a bit too low for that to work. Ooh, that was actually a really good chest. Made a total net gain on that. Gain some bombs, gain some keys, gain some health if I happen to see my red hearts deplete, which I hope never happens. Okay, that's a blind Larry Jr. over there. Which explodes the silkworms. Thank you. I'll check my shop. That's not going to be like a standard battery. It's like the regular item, the battery. It just stores energy. That's good. Gets me a little bit of trickle charge. Oh, it's not going to work on those guys either? That sucks. Well, I guess I'll have to let the battery do its work. Which it didn't at the time. The cage? Not the Nick cage, is it? Oh, yeah. That's what he likes to release, uh, those uh, laser guys. Just watch out for their diagonal rolling. Luckily, they don't really change their angles. There we go. This is actually an easy boss. I never had a problem fighting the cage. Whoa, forgot about that attack. Oh. Yeah, I was going to get hit either way. Oh, I almost changed its angle at the last second to get me. So I'll take stem cells. That's an HP upgrade. Oh, I could have been Guppy. Do I want to turn any of these red hearts into soul hearts? Well, I'll be giving up a red heart, so... No? I will pass on that item. And I'll pass on the rest of this floor. Thank you very much. Okay. I guess we're going to take on Mom. But first, let me use the Joker. Guppy's hairball. Well, I never picked up that item before, so for this very reason, I'm going to pick it up now. It's basically an orbital that kind of functions like a morning star. I guess if you can call it that. Oh, now I got to take on Super Wrath. And the hairball gets bigger the more enemies you kill with it. In other words, not with your own tears, but with the hairball itself. It's awkward to control because you can't really swing it that far. However, the bigger it gets, the more damaging it becomes. It's a bit of one of those weird items that you'd have to have some advanced skills to be able to use properly. And I'm not one of those advanced players. I mean, I give it a chance sometime, you know, just for the sake of picking it up. But don't expect me to just use the hairball exclusively. I will have a bad time. Thank you for going onto the spikes like an idiot. It makes me feel so much better. Oh god, I don't feel good about this room. Oh yeah, I knew that was going to happen. I don't know how I feel about this pill, because all the pills I've gotten so far have been neutral or bad. I don't think this is going to be any different. Ringworm? Oh, this is all Fester's quest shit. I don't want that. Hematemesis? Well, that's two red hearts. I could have used them, so it actually helped. I used two keys to get a gold key? That's weird, but at least I'm not going to waste any on this gold chest. Oh, yeah. Definitely don't want the ringworm. So glad they made that and wiggle worm trinkets instead of items now. Because wiggle worm is a terrible item. Like, when it comes to like certain shots, it, be it became difficult, if not impossible, to manage enemies. 
Now that it's like a trinket, it feels so much better to work with. Yeah, ah, damn it. I'll destroy that skull. It might have something for me, which it didn't. So, let's take out Mom as soon as we're done here. Or maybe I should look for the shop. Because I haven't found it yet. But then I'll be dealing with the spikes again, so screw it. We're going to Mom. I don't think the flesh is going to help me that much. But I do want to destroy some of these rocks. Plus, my bombs can daze the smaller enemies. Oh, yeah. I did not see the shadow. Should have seen that. Uh, man. Mom's foot's coming down a little bit faster than it normally does. Really got to pay closer attention. Come on. Do something. Thank you. Oh. Saw that coming. I win! Well, the devil room is useless to me, so I'll take the snack. Rune of Jira is now unlocked. Okay, so I'm guessing the challenge runs are basically for runes. Well, that's interesting, I guess. I think we'll do another regular run next. Uh, they don't really count towards your win streak, though. Who would I like to play as? You know what? I think our next run's gonna be an Eve run. So stay tuned for that. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.